Jim, do you feel we got drawn into a bit of a battle today? Uh, yeah, I mean, you could say that. Uh, you know, we're obviously extremely disappointed to drop two points here at home um, in front of another great turnout from the fans. Uh, you know, real good numbers here again today. Um, thought we started the game particularly well, opening 10 minutes, uh, real control of the game. The goal was a well-worked goal. Louis Mould picking it up in the pocket, playing it wide to glass, and then Louis busting a gut to go and get into the middle of the box to get on the end of the cross. It was a great goal. And um, I thought we were very comfortable at that point. You know, we knew uh, what Morton's approach to the game would be. We, you know, we done all our homework. Uh, we know they're quite a direct team. They've got Muirhead up top. They try and use him as a real focal point. And I thought the lads at the back, you know, Gallagher and Holt, in fairness to them, for you know the majority of the game, managed them really well. Uh, competed aerially, and then we picked up a lot of second balls. I would agree that we did, you know, kind of lose our composure and our. Um, quality on the ball at times today, which is the most disappointing point for me because we we didn't um, control the game well enough um, the last 15 minutes of the first half and for the majority of the second half, I think we just weren't quite at our best today in possession. But, um, you know, I should be standing here really talking about winning the game 1-0, having not played all, our, all that well, uh, you know, similar to Airdrie. But um, unfortunately... You know, a mix-up at the back uh, has cost us two points. And, you know, I can't be too critical of the boys at the back there because Gallagher and Holt have developed a brilliant partnership at centre-back and Jack Walton has been outstanding in goal as well. But, you know, sometimes uh, throughout the course of the season, you know, poor decisions can be made on the rare occasion. And unfortunately today that one has, has cost us. Do you think that fast start was helped by the, the continuity of the team selection from last week? Uh, yeah, I mean, look, we didn't want to make too many changes. I didn't feel like we we had to. I mean, um, obviously Ross Graham and, and Kai Fotheringham dropped back out from the from the team of the weekend. Uh, Kev Holt went back in, and obviously Kujo. Um So you know that team has has been doing well, and um, you know obviously Tilson in there alongside Glass were excellent last weekend. So we didn't feel the need to make too many changes. But um, yeah, I mean, look, we're. We're frustrated, I think, more than anything, you know. But I think, you know, the players deserve a lot of credit. We've played ten men uh, against eleven there for the last half an hour of the game, which include the added on time, and um, you know, the last kind of eight, nine, ten minutes, we were very much on top. You know, we looked as if we were going to go and nick a winner. Uh, Louis Moult is really unlucky; gets on the end of a Glenn Middleton cross and just, you know, hits the outside of the upright. Um, he's had another good chance as well in around the, the six yard box. He's unfortunate that he couldn't really get enough purchase on it to knock it by the goalkeeper. Um, so, like I said, I cannot be too critical. It wasn't a lack of effort or commitment. There was a little bit of a lack of quality at times when we had possession of the ball. But sometimes you've got to credit the opposition as well. I thought, you know, Morton got back in behind the ball in good numbers and made life difficult for us. The, the bit that frustrated me was that we didn't move it quick enough from side to side. And when we have done that in the past, you know, gaps have appeared and we've exploited them. And unfortunately today, we weren't able to do that. The main flashpoint, obviously, was the, the red card that happened at most people's eye line. But how did you have to tactically alter the game after that? Yeah, I mean, you know, could you, anybody who knows him knows that, um, you know, that type of thing is not in his nature. And, and um, you know, watching it uh, live at the time, you know, I just saw it as two players grappling with each other on the ground um, and I think you know the Morton player has got a hold of Cujo and he's tried to brush him off. Uh, the linesman on my side has deemed it a, uh, that Cujo has thrown his arm into Water's face. I, I didn't really see that. I have to watch it back but uh, you know I, I didn't see that happening at the time. You know I, I think the Morton player's reaction is probably what makes the referee come to the decision that he does. Um, so, yeah, I mean, look, we're disappointed for Kudge. If we think there's grounds for appeal there, then we'll certainly do that with the SFA. He's had a good season up to now, and it would be disappointing to, to miss him for the next couple of fixtures. So we'll see what we can do with that one. But, yeah, down to 10 men against anybody um, is going to be difficult. I thought we contained them really well. They had a, you know plenty of possession. Uh, without really causing us too many problems and then you know tactically we made the change with about 10 minutes to go uh, to bring on Archie Meekison in place of Grimshaw we went to a back three asked uh, Archie to go and get a little bit closer to Louis and allow Louis to stay that wee bit higher and I thought we finished the game really really strong um, you know Kai Fothering on the right hand side Glenn getting plenty of the ball um, you know we'd won a couple of corners wide free kicks and managed to get a few long throws in and you know could have nicked a winner 
right at the end, but um, unfortunately it wasn't to be. If we continue along the, the theme of refereeing decisions, it seemed like there was a lot of unpenalised holding in the box that everyone was getting a bit frustrated with. Yeah, I mean, I did mention it to the officials before the game, uh, because as I said, having watched Morton's games back previously, um, you know, Baird and Broadfoot are both physical, strong centre-halves, but they do... Uh, you know they are inclined to get too tight to their markers from set plays, and we felt that there was a couple of occasions there where you know a few of our players have been wrestled to the ground, and you know you're wanting the referee to keep an eye on that and to at those big moments to make the big decisions. And unfortunately, we didn't get one of those decisions today. Um, but you know that's what Morton are. You know Dougie Emery's got them you know well organised. They're a, an aggressive team. They've got some good experience in there with Broadfoot and Power. Um, Muirhead leads the line well for them, so you know you're going to be in a battle. You know, and I don't think anybody could say that the players, our players, didn't stand up to that. I thought we did. I just think we lacked a little bit of quality when we had possession of the ball, um, and didn't hurt Morton enough when we did. If we just finish on the positives, we've seen Craig Sibold get back out there, which is maybe a wee bit surprising given some of the, the press around it when the injury first came out. Yeah, I think the Craig and the medical team deserve a lot of credit. You know, he's two or three weeks ahead of schedule. Um, took a real bad one to his ankle, uh, but full credit to Sibs for his approach to the rehab process. Um, he's still in a little bit of pain, you know, he's still got a lot of bruising around about the ankle, but testament to him and the type of character that he is, he wants to get out there and wants to help the team. And great to have him back in the match day squad. And then, um, you know, delighted that he's there as an option to come off the bench and, and um, you know, play the way he did. You know, he's a very calming influence on those players around him. and. Um, Another good addition and another good choice for me to have in the middle of the park.